Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am here with another guesstimate interview question and this question is quite popular among job recruiters. In this question, I have explained a very important concept of bottleneck. So do watch the video till the very end and you will learn a lot. So on this channel, we have a complete playlist of guesstimate videos so you can watch and prepare for your upcoming interviews. With that said, let's get started. So today's question is to estimate the revenue of Dom Domino's outlet. I hope you all have visited Domino's at least once, but nowadays some of us are majorly ordering it online. This is also a standard question and the difficulty level of this question is easy to moderate. I hope you all will be able to solve this question on your own. So pause the video, give it a try and always try to reach at the final answer. With that said, let's get started. As usual, I am giving you 5 seconds to think about the question and have some initial approach ready. Your time starts now. I hope you have an approach ready to tackle this question. So let's see how we can go about this. First, let's start with the clarifying question. The first question which we can ask is about the revenue source. What are the different sources of revenue being attributed here? Because nowadays people can order it online or can go to the outlet and have it there. So are we considering only the online orders or offline orders? So let's assume that we are not bounded by any such constraint. Both offline and online order are being considered here. The second question which we can ask is about the type of revenue. Are we considering revenue only from pizzas or revenue from other sites are also considered here? Let's assume that for the sake of the simplicity and explanation of the bottleneck concept, we are only thinking about the revenue from pizza. It is very simple to extend the concept to get the total revenue. Take that as a homework question and paste the approach in the comment section. So here we are only thinking about the revenue from the pizza. The third question which we can ask is about the locality of the outlet. Where is this outlet located? It is important question because the busy outlet will sell more pizzas than the non-busier outlet. So let's assume that the outlet is located in the metro city in a busier area. In the fourth question, we can dig slightly deeper into the outlet configuration as in how big is that outlet? What are the operational hours? Let's assume that the outlet is reasonably big and can accommodate around 100 customers and its operational hours is from 12 noon to 12 midnight. That is a total of 12 hours of operation. The fifth question which we can ask is about the time frame from the standpoint of revenue. Let's assume that we are thinking about the single day revenue and that too on weekends. Let's assume that it to be a Sunday. I think we have asked a considerable set of questions to understand the problem in a better way. If you think we could have asked more questions, please let me know in the comment section so that we all can learn and apply the same in the upcoming interviews. Now time to form a goal of the problem. So the goal of the problem is to estimate the daily revenue of Domino's from pizza in a busy locality in a metro city. Now let's start with the high level equation and the walkthrough of the solution. But before that, let me explain a concept of the bottleneck. Lot of people have commented below to solve the problem from supply side. So I have tried to solve this problem from the supply side constraint. So let's take an order of pizza. It can be bifurcated into these steps, taking order, preparation time, baking time, and finally packaging. And we have to understand Domino's cannot bake infinite number of pizza, even if they have infinite number of people. Let's understand this why. There's a bottleneck of baking time. If you have 100 orders to fulfill, you can do a parallel work in preparing the dough, applying topping, but the baking is the time which will be always be required. So what would be the bottleneck? The number of ovens would be the bottleneck. And a domino store cannot have infinite number of ovens. So even if the demands are super high, seemingly infinite, but we are bounded by the number of pizzas which we can bake in an oven, right? If you want to learn a lot of such concept, download our guesstimate ebook. This guesstimate ebook has a guesstimate question from different industry like healthcare industry, FMCG industry, travel industry. So after this, you would be able to solve any problem in an interview. So download it from the pinned comment and from the description box below. So let's start with the high level approach. Since we know the outlet at 12 hours of operation, we will first divide into peak hours of operation and the non-peak hours of operation. Now we have to take care of the utilization of the oven, which we have discussed just now. In the peak time, utilization of all the oven would be around 100%. But in the case of non-peak hours, the utilization would be less than 100%. So the number of pizzas would be less. But here, demand can be seemingly infinite because the outlet is situated in the metro city and in the busy area. So we won't be able to fulfill the demand of all the customer. So there is a utilization concept here. From there, we would be able to calculate the pizza sold in the peak hours and in the non-peak hours. Summing up, we will be able to calculate the total number of pizza. From now, we would have the average value of the pizza because there can be multiple types of pizza like small, medium, large. 
we could have bifurcated into those but for the sake of the simplicity i am assuming that the average order value and not bifurcating into different type after that we know dominoes always have discount coupon codes etc so we have to take into account that as well after that we have our daily revenue ready from the dominoes pizza i hope you understand the approach high level approach to solve the problem now let's start putting those number but before that don't forget to download the ebook this will immensely help you to build up acumen to solve the guesstimate problem from different type right so now putting those number 12 hours of operation let's assume that 6 hours of peak hours and 6 hours of non peak hours why i have taken 50 50 split because there is offline and online delivery as well so there may be peak hour from the online which we haven't even imagined of so i have taken that into account and where 6 hours of peak operation and 6 hours of non peak operation you can also differ that in peak hour, let's assume that there is 100% utilization of the oven and in the non-peak hours, there is 50% utilization of the oven. So, how to get the number of pizza in the peak hour? That will be 6, that is 6 hours, multiply by 60 by 5 because we take an average of 15 minutes of baking, multiply by 2, that will that is uh, 2 ovens in the Domino's outlet, multiply by 4 because one oven can bake 4 medium size worth pizzas together. Assuming that we can also bake some 2-3 garlic bread uh, here and there and other sides together. That will give you 192 medium worth pizza in peak hours. That will give you 192 medium sized worth pizzas in peak hour. Here also I am assuming that the baking time will remain same for the small sizes pizza, medium sizes or big sizes. Now for the non-peak hour, we would have 50% of utilization and the, from the same concept, we would get around 96 medium worth pizzas in the non-peak hours. So total number of pizza that is sold per day by a domino outlet would be around 288, you can assume to be 300, around 300 or so. Now as discussed earlier, we could have bifurcated into three different types, but I am not doing that. You can consider to get a sharper estimation. So here I am assuming that an average medium size pizza so the price of average medium size pizza would be around 350 if you are adding more toppings or if you are having a standard margarita the price will be less if you are having more supreme kind of pizza with extra topping it can go up to 600 but here i am taking around 350 the average value of a medium size worth pizza the price would be around 350 also domino's run discount on a more frequent basis so let's assume that average discount would be around 20 percent from there, we would be able to get the total revenue of Domino's store from the pizza. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have any doubt, please do comment in the comment section. And also please download our guesstimate ebook from the link in the description box or from the pinned comment. Till then, keep learning and keep watching.